Hello guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you uh, my usual process on finding a uh, expired domain. So I'm going to show you uh, using uh, paid tools as well as free tools. Okay, so before we proceed on the, uh, you know, finding the expired domain, uh, let me just uh, show you this, share with you this if you're interested. So the, uh, the expired domain is uh, the nail and uh, Lush Academy, which uh, have a really good opportunity if you want to sell like eyelashes or nail polish. So this one right here, uh, what I like about is it's got DR11. And if we take a look at the backlink profile, the websites that are linked to the domain, they're related. So as you can see, a professional eyelash extension and profile nail, uh, this one, nail arts and uh, four reasons uh, to join art nail classes. So uh, most of the, uh, you know, backlinks are related to the actual domain. And if we take a look at the uh, uh, keyword opportunities that uh, I can share with you guys, is, you know, I type in eyelash extension. And as we usually do here in Ahrefs, because we have a DR11 domain, so what we can do is filter those keywords that are ranking um, on DR10 websites within top 5 of Google on first page. So we do that 10 since we have a DR11, so we can do at least 10. And then these keywords are the results of, uh, you know, potential keywords we can use for that expired domain that uh, we have good opportunity of ranking, ranking within the top five of Google. Like, for example, here, eyelash, eyelash extension allergic reaction. So if you take a look at this keyword, so let's get a key, easy keyword difficulty and get a 1,800 uh, potential traffic. Okay. And if we scroll down right here, you can see here we've got DR3 ranking on uh, within top five of Google, lash extension reaction, which is very similar to the domain, this expired domain name. Okay. And it's available on GoDaddy. So you can see, yeah, you can purchase it right away. And if you wanted to rebuild this, so I can share with you this keywords. Um, and regarding the, uh, monetization opportunity you can do is you can go to Amazon right here, for example, and type anything related to eyelash uh, like this, cosmetics, nail polish, so things like that. You can do Amazon affiliate or find any or if you have your own product. So try to run for this keyword and put a link to your own product, a check so that people can check out your product and buy them. So lots of opportunities can be done in this, uh, you know, domain. Okay, now um, what I can do to help you guys is I'll just export this so you can you know, grab this. I'll put the link where you can download these keyword reports in the comments below, just like what I always do to help you guys. So yeah. And then uh, going back to our main topic is how I usually find this type of domain. It's uh, first we we go to the paid tools. So when I say paid tools, I use uh, Spamzilla. As it's a popular, you know, app to find expired domain. So here, um, it's it's very simple. Although it's not instant that you can find a good domain once you, uh, you know, sit down and do five minutes of, you know, searching for a domain. Uh, it will usually take some time, like one to two hours. And, you know, um, it consumes number of steps to, you know, determine whether that domain is worth buying or not. So uh, the filter that uh, I always use is you don't have to do this. You can experiment whatever filters you have. So we can, we cannot go through each of these, but I'll just, uh, show you the basic that I usually, you know, use whenever I want to find a expired domain. So here I keep them, I keep everything as ticked. And here in the site Majestic Languages, so I deselect all and just select English. If you are uh, just interested to English websites, as well as the Angkor language, I deselect all and English, keep it English. Now, um, here in AHREP DR, so since we are always, uh, you know, interested in having some DR so that we have potential of ranking keywords uh, quicker. So we just put one, at least one DR. That's what I do. And um, keep them as blank, all this. And um, I think that's all. That's all I can uh, I filter. Uh, that's all the filter configuration I have. And when I click on the apply filter, it will start showing me uh, those domains uh, that, you know, might I might be interested in. So most of these are auction. GoDaddy auction. Uh, most of the auctions domain, they are really good ones. Um, but uh, you, you really need to like uh, spend at least $300 to win the auction. I'll give you some example of my past auction uh, here uh, in in GoDaddy auction. So in my past auction so far, um, like as you can see, if you want to get this movie review world, you need to pay $600 to win the auction. So uh, mostly I just 
uh, want I did to keep myself uh, under under hundred dollars because I don't have this much budget to you know. But unless it's a really really good domain, so for example, this one went up to eight hundred forty three dollars, three hundred dollars. So and this one here two thousand seven hundred. So you must have at least a uh, three to five hundred dollars to win the auction. I won once like this one here. So uh, I'm back in like one year ago so i won and i paid around 300 dollars for this domain but i didn't really have time to you know rebuild that but that's how how the re reality is so if you want to win an auction uh you need to spend at least 300 dollars same as you know uh this one the uh name cheap auction so this one last night i was trying to bid for this domain but it cost uh 332 dollars which um uh can't afford so yeah um but usually uh the auction domain are those domains we already have keywords ranking available uh going back here so here as you can see here uh you start with uh 25 dollars uh these domains right here so let's take a look at one domain that's in auction so we've got here dr9 so let's take a look at uh the domain profile so as you can see some of them already have organic keywords which you can you know um, if you go to the organic keywords and, you know, at C here, you're already ranking for Alcazar restaurant and you can just build this, you know, uh, build this uh, same, same URL and you get traffic instantly. So but, uh, this one is not, our, that, not that good one. Uh, we can find something else like, for example, this DR33 or DR35. Let's see. It's in auction. can see the cat 11 organic keywords and 35 dr so those uh keyword these keywords you can already use if you take a look at here so um, if you rebuild these keywords so uh, not really that good there are some good domains um let me just uh, show you guys the domain that i found yesterday the cutting veg blog so here this one right here if you take a look you can see it got lots of keywords already ranking on top one of Google. So you can just rebuild this page around here. For example, favorite traders Joe product. So you just rebuild that page and you get instant traffic. Uh, but this, you know, this domain is in auction. So you may have to spend thousand dollars to get this domain. So that's the main, you know, difficulty of uh, joining auction. So what we usually do is here in the filter, uh, we go for uh, just the expired means. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, in the marketplace, we deselect all, okay, and and then click on uh, apply. All right. So as you can see here, these are all the available domains right now. But uh, that's not the end of the step. You have to uh, again carefully uh, determine whether this domain is worth or not. Uh, for example, this one. Um, uh, I can't understand this because, uh, for example, uh, let's try to see one of the uh, English domain right here. It's a shoppingsearch.com. So what's good about this spamzilla is this it gives you this spam score. So the lower the better. So that means this one is indicating that it's a clean one and shop including. And as you can see, the domain age is 19. And here you can see the snapshot right away, what the domain looks like. And you will have an idea how you can rebuild this domain. So, and again, but you have to do your due, due diligence before you buy this. You want to check this to Spamzilla, for example, this one right, I mean, uh, Ahrep. So if you open this, as you can see, uh, the DR is not that good, but yeah, it's just for an example. <coughs> and this one, if you see some spike here, uh, referring page, it is quite suspicious, but not, not that much, but there are some, uh, you know, metrics that, uh, the events once you take a look you will notice that it's you know there were some malicious uh, history events happening on that domain okay so yeah before you, you purchase this domain you have to do your due diligence run it over on ahref because uh we're discussing now the paid tools so yeah we will be using spamzilla and ahref you know to determine uh this domain right here hammer menacing team so things like that so just like what i said um you, you have to go through each of it you have to sit for like an hour at least to find a really good ones that you can purchase here and if you really want those domains that have organic keywords already then uh go for an auction but uh like what i said you need to uh, spend at least three two thousand dollars you know to get the domain okay so that's the uh it's what all blogging that sounds interesting um yeah so you can go to page two and just just be uh, alert of the spam score so here there are some indication that it's a spam so if you you know if you filter them to look at this 44 so you have to be aware because it's indicating that there is a significant increase in content okay but you can still do your you know our own 
research investigation, you can run that over to Ahref to see whether, you know, it it's worth buying or you can rebuild that domain. This is just an indicator like what Spamzilla thinks about the domain, but uh, you can also have a look at yourself. All right. So yeah, that's the only filter I can share with you guys because that's the only one I'm using. So yeah, I'll just put this as English, you know, and at least one DR in Ahref. So if you're using a paid one, Ahref, and then um, here expired domains. And if you want to join the auction, so you can uh, select the GoDaddy auction. And, you know, I usually like the name cheap option of uh, auctions and then apply the filter. So yeah, um, you'll find those domains that are, are in the, you know, under auction. And as in my experience, this is where you get really good domains for at least $500. So even if it starts with 15, so it can go up to thousand or $2,000. Yeah. And yeah, if you really have a budget, so you can go ahead and try auction. Uh, but in, in, if you want to, you know, really want to quickly set up a domain a website without spending that much so you can do the available domain so yeah if you follow me on this channel so i can always suggest you good domains like one to two domains in every video i released so like uh this one that i was showing you so you can grab that in good idea right away and start rebuilding these keywords this content strategy i'm suggesting you guys and i already putting the keyword reports in the comment below so if you want to grab that opportunity yeah so and again okay uh the next one is i'm going to quickly show you if you are using if you want to use free ones if you don't want to get subscription on spamzilla and if you don't have the access to ahref so that's not a problem what you can do is head over to uh this one called uh, uh it's very familiar uh, it's very popular uh website expireddomains.net you know which you can use to uh search expired domain for free um so um this is also good but uh the one thing that I will show you guys is, for example, so let's find a domain. Let's say you're just interested to purchase a deleted domains of .com. So here you can choose that. <laughs> and uh, you can see it's showing almost 3 million domains right here. So you can just do show filter. So what I usually select here is <laughs> I take the this one, no consecutive hyphens. That's it. I'm OK with the numbers because I don't want to miss any opportunity of good domains. So here you can select English. All right. And here in the majestic, majestic, you can just choose citation flow as tree, trust flow as tree, trust ratio as tree. So I'm not exactly sure how these three, what are these three are, do, are doing, but um, in some of the uh, video that I learned, they always choose this as tree. So you can do your own research, but uh, I keep it like that. So in SEO, if you want a Wikipedia link, you can do that. But usually it uh, just resulted to very few options, selections. So let's keep it blank for now. And here, if you want to purchase the domain right away, you can just tick this only available domains. Okay, so you don't have to go through the auction. Click on apply. So as you can see from 3 million down to 1,379. Now you can start uh, going through each of this domain. So these are the number of backlinks, as you can see. So I'm not attracted to very huge number of backlinks because most of them are spammy domains. All right, so let's accept this one, gear effect golf. So um, from what I can see this, you can sell, you know, golf equipments so since we don't have spamzilla like you can easily see whether this domain has like this one spam score so as you can see here in spamzilla you can see it's uh spamzilla suggesting not to purchase this domain because it's too spammy from what spamzilla metrics uh can see now uh, what you can do is to, to to check whether this domain is spammy or not so you copy that so you go to this website uh domain authority checker so it's website seochecker.com and then you know put the domain right here so you have to manually do everything because this one is uh you know you are doing the free uh process so yeah to see whether it's spammy or not and then check the authority so you can see here uh spam score is 50 percent so that's a red flag but of course this is just a metrics for this website seo checker so we really won't know unless we have a paid to like uh ahref uh to see whether the flow of the referring domain and backlinks but what we can do here again is we go to this one backlink checker free backlink checker of ahref to see uh, what type of backlink we have for this domain so yeah so you click you check the backlinks so as you can see it's got 4000 backlinks and domain rating is 1.7 which is you know okay if we have uh, some 
pretty good backlinks. So as you can see, you won't know whether these are, you know, do follow or follow backlink because this is just a free checker. So you just have to, you know, uh, scan the links. Uh, for me, it, it, I feel that this is, you know, this some decent, decent backlink. So it's not foreign language. It's not, uh, you know, generated uh, talking about the uh, related to gear effect golf itself. But uh, we can't see the metrics whether there were some suspicious spike in the you know, referring backlinks because this got 4,000 backlinks and just 1.7 domain rating. So there could be some suspicious uh, spike or software generated backlinks unless we run it over to ahref you know uh, so we can uh, clearly see metrics okay so let's take a look at some other domains right here so for example um this one code messages images so quite interesting let's copy that uh, first again we go to the spam checker this one run that over here and as you can see spam score again it's not that good okay so yeah, and what's good about Spamzilla is you can straight away see the past, uh, you know, some screenshot of how the domain looked like before, before you purchase. Yeah, so you can do that as well in the free method. So what you do is go back to Wayback Machine and then go to Wayback Machine uh, here and you manually see uh, what this domain looked like before. So we run that over. So take a look at some snapshots here, for example. So you can just scan through. Yeah, so yeah, this is how it looked like before, but yeah, looks pretty decent to me. Okay, and okay, so it, it's talking about some, you know, advice quotes for relationships from what I can see. And again, let's check the pack links. Yeah, zero domain rating, uh, some foreign language. Uh, yeah, backlinks, but seems to be pretty okay although i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah so there, we we don't know uh the metrics whether this do, these backlinks acquired from any generating software or spammy software to increase this type of backlinks but still it got no domain rating okay so you have to manually do all the work uh, for this free method but it, it will work like you just need to spend more time and do all the manual work to see whether the domain is good or not. So yeah, that's it. So you just run it over to website SEO checker to see if it's, you know, the spam score, if it's okay or not, and check the domain rating backlinks using this free AHREP backlink checker. And of course, uh, run that over to, you know, uh, Wayback Machine to see, to get idea on how you can rebuild domain. Okay. So, and then, um, yeah, once you find a good ones, then you can just easily purchase them. So again, compared to uh, Spamzilla, uh, which is, you know, I, I don't recommend using it if you don't want to, you know, you don't have extra budget to spend on this uh, paid tools. But yeah, it's just, it will just make your life easier. Like, for example, this you can see right away, the Ahrefs DR, and you can see the spam score ready right here. You can spot them, uh, you know, up front, and you can easily view, you can, you know, get the idea of what this website was about and the you know domain age 16 years all right and hmm, yep same thing as what you'll do in the free method you just run it in a you know different platform before you determine whether it's a good one or not and yeah if you don't have spamzilla for example i mean uh ahref so you won't have idea of the metrics how the backlinks were acquired okay especially those domains that having zero domain rating but got thousands of backlinks so which is quite suspicious yeah so i think this this is all about the video um yeah so if you want to try out uh, the free method or the paid ones so yeah let me know in the comments below and again i uh, just before you go if you are interested with this one the nail and lash academy so i'll just be putting the reports in the uh, comments below the keyword reports that we just downloaded if you want to rebuild the site and yeah you can purchase that on godaddy so if you want this type of content again, I'm uh, uh, showing you uh, good domains, expired domains that you can buy in, you know, not going through the auction, not um, in a, you know, affordable way. So, and we do free keyword reports. So just subscribe. Thank you.